Are you diagnosed with knee osteoarthritis or worried about developing knee osteoarthritis? A lot of our patients share this concern, so we wanted to produce this video to help you in preventing and reducing the symptoms of knee osteoarthritis. It is a beginner routine, so anyone can start doing this. I will also give you some effective acupuncture points that you can use to help promote circulation and improve the health of your knee. But don't worry, you will not be using needles, but you can use a TENS machine or an acupointer on these points. I will attach the video at the end so you can use this in conjunction with this exercise program. Hey everyone, it's Mike Wong, physiotherapist from East West Physiotherapy in Burnby, where we combine the best of Eastern and Western medicine to help improve your health. Scientific evidence says that in order to keep your knees healthy, you need an exercise program that target movement, strength, flexibility, and endurance in your hips, knees, and ankles. We see this on a regular basis as proof that it works, and those who follow the program will notice an improvement in their overall knee health. This beginner exercise program requires no special equipment and is done with little stress to the knee. None of these exercises should cause you pain, so work on these to your comfort level. Muscle burning and fatigue is normal, and it's an indication that you need to stop and rest. So, without further delay, follow along. To start, these exercises can be done every second day to allow your body to recover from the exercises. You may do these exercises for 10 repetitions, 2 sets each, to your comfort level. The first exercise is the heel slides to warm up and get your knee moving. Lying on your back, slide your heels towards your bum and then straighten your knee out again. If you have knee soreness and pain, this may give you some initial discomfort but this should subside after a few reps. Do not force the knee movement past pain. With the second exercise, lie on your back with your knee straight on the side that you are working. The other knee can be kept bent to relax the back. Keeping your knee straight, lift the leg up as high as you can to your comfort level. You will feel a tightening in front of your thigh and a nice stretch on the back of your leg. With this third exercise, you can use a foam roller or a couple of pillows and place it underneath your knees. Line on your back, straighten your knees and hold for 3 seconds and then slowly lower the leg back to the start position. You should feel a tightening in, in the front of your thighs when doing this exercise. Lying on your back with your knees bent 90 degrees and feet flat on the floor. Tighten up your core by gently drawing your belly button downwards. Push your feet down to the floor and lift your buttocks up. Your upper thighs should be straight with your body and you should feel a tension in your buttocks when doing this exercise. Slowly lower your hips down and repeat. Lying on your stomach, tighten your core muscle and bring the heel towards your buttocks. Then slowly return to the start position with your knees extended. You should feel a tightening sensation in the back of your thighs and possibly a stretching sensation in the front of the thigh as you bend the knees. Lying on your side with your knees and hips slightly bent, keep your ankles together and bring the top knee away from the bottom knee. Make sure that you are only using your hips and not turning your body. With this exercise, you'll notice a tightening at the side and the back of the hips. Slowly lower the knees and then repeat. Lying on your side with your legs straight, lift the top leg up towards the ceiling and then slowly return to the start position. You should lead with the outside part of your foot at all times and keep your hips pointed towards the ceiling. With this exercise, you should feel a tightness on the outside part of your hip. The following stretches are done holding 30 seconds 3 times per day. Again, no pain should be experienced when doing these. In standing, bend your knees by grabbing your foot and bringing your heels towards your buttocks. You may extend your hips to get a greater stretch in front of your thighs. When sitting, keep one leg straight and place the other foot on the side of your knee. Turn your body towards the straightened knee and lean forward through your torso, bringing the belly button towards the thigh. You will feel a nice pull in the back of your thigh. Lying on your back, bring one knee up towards your chest and across your body with your hands. You can vary the amount of knee bend to achieve a stretch in different parts of your buttocks. 
So that's the end of the beginner level exercises that are safe and effective to help with knee osteoarthritis. To enhance the effect of the exercises, check out our recommended acupuncture points to help your knee here. Instead of needles, you can use a TENS device or an acupointer, a device that sends low electrical current onto acupuncture points in the body. Subscribe to our channel for upcoming releases for intermediate and advanced exercise for NeoA. Hope you have fun with these today, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.